What is up guys, it's Premier here, welcome back to episode 2 of FIFA History 101, the A to Z of Sweat. Today we're going to be doing Bia Biani on the screen. Right now you will see the results, the straw poll results from the end of the last episode. Uh, as you can see there, Bia Biani took the biscuit with 38 votes, with 34% of the voting. Uh, in second was close with Bale, other than that Ben Arthur and Balotelli were, were quite way off. Poor Bistrov down there with only 3 votes, a lot of you clearly didn't use Bistrov back in the day. But anyway, um, hence why we're doing this video all about Jonathan Biabiani um, and it was actually suggested to me that if the voting is close um, maybe some of the people that come close in second or third we should revisit at the end of the season so that's exactly what we're going to do end of the season end of the series so that's exactly what we're going to do um, we're going to add Bale to the list and once the series is finished we're going to go back through and do Bale um, because he came in close second so as I said in episode one uh, this series is totally voted for by you guys so again if you want to go and vote the straw poll is down in the description it takes two seconds to vote um, we had like 120 of you vote last time so if a few more could vote that would be absolutely brilliant it just helps me uh, make the video a lot easier to be honest um, so yeah I'm pretty sure the C1 will be a lot you know what it won't be as close there'll pre probably be only one winner down there but as I said if you want to go and vote I'd really do appreciate it anyway guys this video is all about Jonathan Biabiani so let's crack straight on and have a look at some of his older cards so we'll start with his FIFA 10 card then, and we are looking at a 71 rated overall silver right winger. Standout stats being his 87 pace and his 76 dribbling. Honestly, I'm fucking disappointed that I didn't really play FIFA 10 Ultimate Team, because generally he could have featured in silver sweaty squads. That card looks absolutely crazy. Um, he's also got 67 passing on there, which isn't too bad for his crossing. But as I said, with the same with Agbon Lahore, I didn't really play Ultimate Team uh, back in FIFA 10, so I'm not really sure how good Biabiani was back then. But judging by those stats, he looked like a fairly decent decent card. His FIFA 11 card comes next then and we are now looking at a 6 overall upgrade to a 77 gold right winger. Not only that, he'd also transferred from Parma to Inter Milan and we are looking at 92 pace and 79 dribbling being his standout stats. Other than that, he's also got 68 pace as well so had another 1 upgrade on his passing uh, sorry, his passing, not pace uh, and also a 5 upgrade on his shooting. We're looking at 64 shooting now as well um, which isn't too bad. Again, back in FIFA 11, although I used fair few sweaty players, Biabiani wasn't really on my radar so I didn't really know how well uh, this guy is. But again, judging by those stats, I'm sure he was an absolute sweat demon. On to his FIFA 12 card then. I have no idea what he did during the FIFA 11 season, but he managed to bag himself a four downgrade. Again, back down to a silver, back to Palmer as well. So we're now looking at a 73 rated silver right mid. But we are now looking at the sweaty pace demon that he is today. We are looking at 96 fucking pace. This is when he was one of the fastest players on Ultimate Team. Also, coupled with that, also having 74 dribbling as well was absolutely phenomenal. This was the first card that I used out of Biabiani's sweaty cards throughout Ultimate Team. And I can assure you the FIFA 12 card was absolutely brilliant. His FIFA 13 card is up next then, and again, he managed to bag himself a 4 upgrade, and now he's back a 77 right mid, right winger card. Still at Palmer, and we are now looking at 96 pace still, and now 81 dribbling, coupled with 72 passing as well, and also 69 shooting, ha, 69. Um, but honestly, that, that card right there was fucking incredible. The only thing that Biabiani lets him down is the fact that he doesn't have 4-star skills. If he did have 4-star skills, do you understand how good he would be on Ultimate Team? That was the only thing that let him down. Down, but obviously his FIFA 13 card was still a sweaty fucking beast and overall an absolutely incredible card. Finally then onto his FIFA 14 card again he bagged himself another upgrade he bagged himself a 3 overall upgrade so he is now an 80 rated right winger and we are now looking at 96 pace with 83 dribbling unreal. It also got 72 passing on there as well um, and overall as you can see there so he's gone from being a 71 rated silver to an 80 rated right winger in the space of a few uh, FIFA Anyway guys, that is pretty much it in terms of Biabiani on some of the old FIFAs. Let's head over and have a look to see if Biabiani is still sweaty on FIFA 15. In terms of his FIFA 15 card then, what exactly are we looking at? Is Biabiani still sweaty? Again, if you look at the stats in goals to game ratio and stuff like that, we it tends to suggest yes. Average price of around a thousand coins. Um, I'm not sure what it's like on X on a PlayStation. Sorry, um, but I picked him up for about 750 coins. But there are plenty going for like one, 1.2, 1.3k. So that was pretty cheap on the market. As you can see there, as I said, we bagged 10 goals and one assist in the 11 games that we played with him. To be fair, I was trying to score quite a few goals with him. Um, so I was I was sweating pretty hard to try and get as many goals with him. Um, in terms of attacking and defensive work rates, we're looking at high low, which is absolutely perfect for our, our right winger. And as I said, we're now looking at. A 
79 rated right winger um, with 96 pace and 82 dribbling being his standout stats, but he does also have at 70 passing on there, which is decent. And 66 shooting seems a little bit low because his shooting seems a lot higher on this game compared to the previous FIFAs where I've used him. As I said, the only thing that lets him down is the fact that he doesn't have four-star skills. If he had four-star skills, not only would he go for about 100k, he would also be one of the best cards on Ultimate Team ever. Um, and so, honestly, overall, Biabiani is really good. But anyway, let's head over into the clip. Onto the clips then, as I said, Biabiani is one of the ultimate sweat demons throughout FIFA history. To have 96 pace consistently for the past three FIFAs holds him in the upper echelons of the sweatiest cards on Ultimate Team. Um, in terms of his finishing and stuff this year, even though he's a winger, it is a lot better than on previous FIFAs. Some of the goals I did score in these clips were actually pretty decent, to be fair. Some skill, not particularly skill runs, but generally possessing, showing his, um, his weaving and uh, his ball rolls I suppose, he's fucking OP, OP at those, um, with a couple with his 96 pace and his good dribbling uh, makes for a fantastic match, so overall we're going to give Biabiani a sweat rating of 8.5 out of 10, purely down to the fact that yeah alright he has 96 pace, but in these series we're looking at someone that's going to dominate games for you and Biabiani isn't going to be able to carry your team like Agbon Lahore would in the last episode, um, and so we're going to give an 8.5 out of 10, which is still a fantastic record to be fair, um, but overall I'd have Agbon Lahore in my side over Biabiani Biani any day of the week. Anyway guys that is pretty much it. If you have enjoyed the video uh, if you could smash another 100 likes last episode, the first episode went down absolutely fantastically. If you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe. Remember to go and vote in the straw poll now. Go and fucking vote. It takes two seconds to vote, and it really does help me out for the next episode. If the person that you want to see on the list for the next episode isn't on the list of the straw poll, comment it below. And apart from that, I love you all, and I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.